Personally, I like to get mine from Naissance due to them only costing eighteen ninety nine per litre for organic, unrefined apricot oil. For those in the US, try Bulk Naturals, which is around $35 per litre for a natural, unrefined version. Due to the relatively cheap price and versatile compounds within, you could use apricot oil in just about anything. Personally, I'll be offering it within facial oils, aisles, hair oils, and body butters. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe and leave a comment below. See you soon. Apricot oil is yellow in coloration with a shelf life of up to 12 months. Not included the extended shelf life if you add tocopherol antioxidants or rosemary CO2 extract. There's minimal aroma and it's non-comogenic with a slightly faster absorption rate. Both at a factor of two, um, meaning there's also a minimal chance of clogging your pores. Its iodine index is around 99, which is usually a clear sign of the oil in question being highly saturated and not heat sensitive. But as some fatty acids, such as oleic acid, are unsaturated, while also being known for having incredibly, incredibly stable fatty acid chains, which reacts the same as a highly saturated fatty acid, such as, say, satiric acid, both of which mean they're stable and have a lower risk of oxidation. As apricot oil isn't heat sensitive and is on the cheaper side of carry oils, it would be an interesting one to use in soaps. So to saponify it, you need 189 grams per litre of potassium hydroxide. Also, apricot oil is likely as cheap as it is due to its kernels being known for containing 40 to 50% of their weight in oil. What's unusual is its majority fatty acid is omega-9 oleic acid with up to 74%. It isn't common to find oils with omega-9 fatty acids as a majority with a faster absorption rate as they more commonly sit at, on and within the epidermal skin layer, strengthening your skin barrier while improving water retention. There's also 34% omega-6 linoleic acid, which helps to reduce inflammatory-based issues, alongside reducing irritation in certain skin conditions such as acne, psoriasis, and eczema. Its rich omega fatty acids help to soften your skin type and are known to reduce dark circles under the eyes. Combine this with a small concentration of vitamin K and apricot kernel oil becomes a commonly used oil within facial and eye oils. There is up to 140 milligrams per litre of vitamin E alpha tocopherol specifically, providing antioxidant benefits alongside helping to extend the lifespan of apricot oil itself. There seems to be gallic acid within apricot kernel oil, as one paper shows the kernels contain 920 to 1620 milligrams per kilo, which provides antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties, alongside improving blemish skin types. There's also small concentrations of slightly below 1% phospholipids, which help to retain water within your skin. Um, carry oils naturally do this, but phospholipids bind to oil and water molecules improving transepidermal water loss, of course. Personally, I like to get mine from Naissance due to them costing about eighteen ninety nine per litre for organic, unrefined apricot oil. For those in the US, try Bulk Naturals. They're only about $35 per litre and it is natural, unrefined. Due to the relatively cheap price and the versatile compounds within, you can use apricot oil in just about anything. I'll personally be offering it within facial oils, eye oils, hair care, and body butters once I get onto those products as well. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please subscribe and leave a comment below. See you soon.